Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Taking your phone calls, and Lord Moncton's on with us for about 40 minutes, and I'll go right back to your calls. And we have the professor joining us who's gone public, pointing out the fact this is part of a takeover plan by Obama with the open borders, and getting into a sociology perspective that I concur with, but from an expert position of how it's to create a permanent slave class, a political voting block. The Democrats tried to forge the black community into, but that's not a big enough group for them to fully dominate election cycles. So they're trying to use racial control and primitive programming, which is very effective on humans, period, on Hispanics to forge them into a race-based cult uh, that has gun control, open borders, the end of the family as its sacraments. Uh, let's go to David in Florida. Thanks for calling. You're on the air. Uh, hi, Alex. Thanks for taking the call. Long-time listener, Prison Planet uh, subscriber. Want to welcome you back, back from vacation. And, Thank you. Uh, uh, a shout out to the prior caller for standing up for our rights. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a bold thing he's doing. But the reason I called you today is I wanted to talk to you about that uh, interview that Karen Hughes of the IMF just did that was posted on the website a couple of days ago. It was actually uh, they put out by SGT Reports, and you guys had uh, relinked it. Have you had a chance to, to listen to that uh, that interview yet and uh, get a read on what she's saying about the, uh, the Federal Reserve getting ready to collapse? Yeah, haven't we had her on before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had her on. Let's get her on next week. Um, in fact, I've been meaning to get her on. I actually watched some of that interview, listened to some of that interview. Uh, the, 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 that SGT folks do a great job, and, and I do want to get her on to talk about that. But that's, that's what a bunch of billionaires are saying uh, right now in Economist, so it's very frightening. Oh, absolutely. But she, she actually stated in that uh, interview that uh, the dollar is going to be replaced by a gold standard currency. Well, you know, she was mid-level, and, and I think she's an eloquent person who has a lot of courage, so I think she's a very credible, nice person. But I've interviewed her before, and I just don't think that, you know, everything she says is exactly the way it is. Um, the, the IMF and World Bank have discussed a global... 10% backed SDR, 10% backed with gold, so they could then manipulate gold at the same time, uh, but still have fractional reserve banking. Uh, but then a lot of the Davos and Bilderberg people don't even want that. They want it pegged to digital transfers, uh, any type of uh, online banking, any type of purchases in a cashless society with a global Tobin overlaid with a global carbon, uh, which is basically an omnibus um, VAT, and I think that's the way it's going. Um, but I, I look forward to having her on. What do you think about it? Well, I, I had some problems uh, trying to understand the credibility piece because it doesn't align with Scripture, as you know, number one. And number two, the fact that she's been reinstated to the IMF was a little bit uh, suspect to be a senior counsel. I mean, she was being chased by the Injustice Department of the U.S., the uh, last time you interviewed her, and now all of a sudden she's back in the position uh, position she held previously? Well, I, I mean, I think she's, my gut is she's a real lady and not a bad person. A lot of times, if you, if you make enough noise and you don't shut up from the intimidation, they try to buy you off. I, I mean, I've literally, no exaggeration, at least six, seven times been offered huge contracts, way more money than I even make now to join the establishment. So that's actually what they do, in my experience, is they either kill you, put you in prison, but if you're too too obnoxious and they don't want to make a big deal out of it, they try to buy you off. And I'm not saying that's what's happened because I haven't been following it. It's just that they will try to get you back into the fold to try to get some control over you. Well, I don't want to mean to dominate so much of your time, but before I let you go, I just want to let you know I'm holding you and the whole staff up in prayer daily. I know the Father's got his hands on your organization and we appreciate what you're doing out here. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Yeah, our best works are dirty rags, but I can feel the presence of God with me every day, and I can feel your prayers. It's an amazing experience. Please continue the prayers uh, and you know, ask that God strengthen me to not be a worldly person and, and that I be strong. 
We'll be right back. Stay with us. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security by sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the info war to the next level. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. I have been syndicated for almost 18 years. I've been on air 19 and a half years. And since I've been syndicated back in 1997, late 1997, we have had the line broadcasting from deep behind enemy lines in occupied former United States. And the reason I've always put that out is because under the North American Union, under globalization, the EU model was the model for Asia and then the Americas and then the Caribbean and then Africa. Under that undemocratic, unelected model, you are literally occupied. And in 2007... Judicial Watch sued and got the absolute Rosetta Stone of this. Thousands of pages that I spent weeks at night when my small children were growing up, literally reading it so that I would understand much of the full plan from the Banff Canada three-day meeting where you had select inside crony capitalists there commanding the ministers of the governments from uh, Secretary of State on down on what was being set up. They were actually having parliamentary votes under the secret agreement signed by Bush and Vicente Fox at Baylor University in 2005. And so you have to be honest that we are literally in an occupied territory, just as Lord Moncton, who helped found UKIP a few decades ago with Nigel Farage, now the fastest growing party, not just in the UK, but in Europe. They are the Tea Party in Europe. Trailblazing. 
not copying our Tea Party. Our Tea Party came out of England. Parliament first voted to not have war with George Washington until King George went down and said, you've got to have a war. So the fight that we have in America for freedom started with Magna Carta in England in 1215. And, and, and then what came out of that, the Renaissance and everything else that followed, we now are continuing that same fight. Globally, we're all in this together. What started in England and spread all over the world continues on the true spirit of 1776 against tyrants everywhere. Whether they be big corporations, governments, uh, mentally ill, kings, it doesn't matter. We have a right to self-determine and be free. And if you look at how they're usurping our freedom, it is the same old story being replayed. And so we know how to beat this. We know how to stand against it. So when I say broadcasting from deep behind enemy lines, that's not fiction. That's not hyperbole. That's not hype. I'm in FEMA Region 6. Obama has opened the border. Hundreds of thousands of illegals are pouring across, which will detonate the new flood that will be millions, which will be the crisis. And then I remembered Tony Blair in 97, 98, 99, I would watch ITN and other channels uh, online. And when I traveled to England, I would watch them as well. And Paul Watson, uh, reporting from the, the UK, would, 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 would write on it how he got caught let, telling the Border Patrol in France, working in a secret deal with France to ship in hundreds of thousands of illegals to be put directly on labor dole to then become the social workers and the new political dominating attack dogs. And I've had even liberal members of parliament on admitting this from England. This is now well known. You can type in Tony Blair secret immigration deal. You'll get stories with France, Romania, you name it. Obama has done this with Mexico to open their southern border to flood us with Central and South American dregs. Criminals, unemployed uh, women with children, and, and, and their stacks of news. So to understand the EU and how 80 plus percent of the laws in England are sent by the EU bureaucracy, not even the EU parliament, and people in the UK can't even vote. I wanted to bring this up before we get into his new challenge and new breaking news on the climate change fraud and just some amazing information. But I wanted to bring this up with Lord Moncton first because he pioneered with Nigel Farage the game plan that's beginning to take Europe back. And the political class is panicking. I cannot build up this man enough, ladies and gentlemen, or Nigel Farage, who is just a rock star. Uh, I mean, he's like Ron Paul, but also has that super appeal uh, of not just a medical doctor, but of more of a super leader. And, but, but, but he's also a blue collar working guy. So he just has it all. These are the leading lights that could literally turn the whole world around. And we have to recognize that so many people got introduced to Lord Moncton, Nigel Farage has been coming on for 10 years on this radio show. Again, to show the power of the people and the fact that our movement for global liberty has only just begun. Now I'm ranting here, but the point is they point out most of our laws are made by the EU. We have no right. It's a dictatorship. By upping the rhetoric to the level of reality, I mean, when you're under tyranny, you call it what it is. You're not polite about it. We're doing the same here. We are in an occupied, illegitimate, globalist EU system now. Obama's about to sign this new Pacific trade deal that takes over internet freedom, you name it gun control, you name it, it's all happening. Global governance is here and recognizing it and the fact that it's undemocratic, it's unelected, it's authoritarian, it's crony, will end it. So I want to first spend this segment on that subject and then get into an outrageous challenge by a professor Claiming that, uh, you know, prove climate change isn't real, I'll give you $30,000, but then admitting it's not really a real challenge. Like the professor here in Austin that said he'd live in a, in, in a trash bin for a year to prove we can all live with less, and then it turned out he didn't really stay there. I mean, this is outrageous. We're going to talk to him about that and so much more about these stunts they pull and the latest. But Lord Christopher Moncton, uh, a top journalist, former top advisor to Margaret Thatcher, uh, and so much more, and, and the leading scientist exposing the fraud, everything he's written about on his site in the last decade has all been proven absolutely accurate. And so now they're calling for his arrest and, and execution uh, in major publications because they're such uh, liberals, uh, is Lord Christopher Moncton. But, but what about the fact that our border's wide open? I mean, this is epic. This is totally epic. And the same thing's been done to the UK. What are we facing? How do we stop it?
Well, it's very difficult to stop it 